<laughs> hold up, hold up a minute. That took the biggest turn of any TV show I've ever seen. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini, and I am a radiologist in my final year subspecializing in interventional radiology in New York City. On today's video, we are going to be doing something that I haven't done in a very long time, and that is reacting to a medical drama. Today's episode happens to be of the Resident, which I haven't seen at all and know nothing about, but I assume it's a very dramatic show revolving around a group of residents. This episode of The Resident allegedly has something to do with interventional radiology, which is why I'm going to react to it. It is episode four. No, wait. What is it? Season four, episode five. Now, I normally don't like to do these kind of videos because for one, they are overdone on YouTube. I feel like every YouTube doctor has done at least one reaction video to some medical drama. But since there is interventional radiology involved and I haven't seen this episode or this series of The Resident, I figured I'd give it a try and tell me what you think about it. Let's go. Ready to go. I'm gonna run out of batteries probably. That'll piss me off. Season four, episode five, starting now. I think Red Rock made a smart decision. We had terrible human consequences. Atlanta needs Chastain. The other hospitals can't possibly have. Is this based in Atlanta? I'm from Atlanta. Maybe there, this is like some tie-in with Grady Hospital because they're always trying to shut down Grady Hospital in Atlanta and they have to have it for the whole Atlanta to survive down there and all the sports team and everything. I'll take it to his room. I have bad news and it's time to tell him. If those two guys are residents, I'm confused of what's going to happen to them now that the hospital shuts down. And actually this does happen because there was a hospital in Philadelphia. I forgot which one shut down. Was it Hahnemann Hospital? Someone in the comments below tell me which hospital shut down and they had to find positions for all the residents that were at that hospital. When that happens, you basically just have to find spots for them at other hospitals to finish out the residency. Pretty crazy, but it does happen, rarely. Dr. Pravesh, I'm not blind. I can see everybody being wheeled out of here, but I've got an inoperable AVM on my heart. You told me so yourself. Well, that's news. He has an inoperable arteriovenous fistula in his heart, which is very rare. Curious to see how they're gonna treat that. Are you calling the cops? I'm not calling the cops, I'm just calling for help. No, 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 the cops! So you need to calm down, okay? <laughs> Don't get out of here! What? What just happened? I mean, that took the biggest turn of any TV show I've ever seen. I was like, this is a slow start, now we're, now we're in it, let's go. Peter. You're bleeding, you need sutures. <laughs> hold up, hold up a minute. What is happening here? She just stapled her arm without any, like, you know, chloroseptic, uh, chloroprep, betadine, anything. She just straight up stapled her arm. And that's not gonna stop the bleeding. So I believe they call that like a cardiac thump or something. It's obviously not done in normal practice. I've never seen it done because if someone did that to a patient in the hospital, they'd probably arrest me or whoever did it. But sometimes if you pound the chest like that, it can have an effect on the circuit in the heart and restart it. I guess if you don't have a defibrillator, you don't really have much of a choice. So yeah. <laughs> What are they gonna do? They're going to take her to the OR, probably do an X slap, large incision, midline incision, open up, try to find out what's bleeding and stop it, and also make sure the baby's okay as well. So they clamp the aorta, that's what you do in a trauma situation where you don't know where the bleedings come from. The aorta is the main vessel in the body that all the bleeding can come from in the abdomen. And then he said there's a renal vein laceration which they could repair as well. Honestly, they could have just came to IR and we could have fixed that too, but. There's a tear in the IVC as well. I mean, you know, I gotta be honest. He only stabbed her one time. So for there, actually, I believe that. So a right renal vein, 
liver laceration and a tear in the IVC that's all in the similar location over there on the right side, which was, I think that's where she got stabbed. So it's just probably, yeah, it's probably in that same area. And the good news is that's far away from the uterus. So the baby should be fine. All right, so we have three storylines going here. We have this man with the tracheostomy. We have the pregnant lady who was stabbed. And then we have the guy with the heart avian. <laughs> can't tell if he's like trying to end his life because he's miserable or I don't know the backstory behind this guy. Um, so it doesn't look like Nick is going to wake up anytime soon. Could be she suffered a catastrophic brain injury in the ER. So she was pulseless, lost a ton of blood, which means her brain may have gotten the oxygenation that it needed during those times. So she could have suffered a stroke or a neurological injury, but you won't know until the patient wakes up if they ever do. Hey, look at this. It's Kane's idea about Henry. Treat his AVM like a brain tumor? The question is, do we have an interventional radiology suite that's still intact? On the second floor, yeah. Look at me now. Let's go. I was wondering when we were gonna get into the interventional radiology part of this. I mean, we're like 45 minutes in here. So you target the OM1. All right, so we're in the interventional suite. So this is interventional cardiology, actually, and it's not the interventional radiology suite, unfortunately, but we have a catheter that came from the radial approach. It's coming from above. Catheter is probably in like the left anterior descending artery. So they have a wire down the artery. They have a stent or something over, I can't really tell, but probably not glue yet. It looks like contrast with a whole bunch of stuff in here. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. You know, if it's not positioned properly, this glue can travel to Henry's brain and leave him with a stroke. And by the way, this is actually literally glue or in butyl cyanoacrylate, which is essentially just like crazy glue. This is the stuff we inject into vessels. I use it all the time to block off blood vessels that are bleeding. We just get into the vessel, inject a little like one milliliter or one cc of glue, chase it with a little D5, and it essentially shuts down that blood vessel almost immediately. And you can see the glue cast of that vessel and it works exceptionally well, but there is a big learning curve to use it. As you can see, it is very easy for that glue to go somewhere else in the body and shut down another vessel that you don't want to shut down. Now, inject the glue. So you never put glue in that big of a syringe. That looks like a three or six cc syringe, maybe a 10 cc syringe. We usually use a one cc syringe and the reason being because we use tenths of cc's to inject glue because we're talking a very, very small portion of glue is injected to block off these blood vessels. So actually what they may have done is put D5 in the actual catheter to kind of lubricate the catheter, then put a little bit of glue, like 0.1 cc's, and then chase it with a full syringe of D5 after that to kind of squirt the glue out. And you can see the end of the catheter here. I guess that's a catheter, I can't really tell, but this is a glue blob coming out and blocking that vessel, which is likely the AVM. They're making this very dramatic because the first thing they would have done, especially in the OR, is make sure this baby is okay. They would have had a fetal heart monitor on that baby this entire time. So they wouldn't wait two or three days to see if the baby was okay. That would be monitored the entire time. It's very dramatic though. Also, just as an aside, I'm sure all the uh, sonographers out there are chomping at bits to say this. Nobody holds the ultrasound probe like this, or like this. No, he had it like this, I think. Just like it. I'm just gonna scan you. No one holds it like that. All right, so hope you all enjoyed this video or this reaction to The Resident. Like I said, that was my first time watching it and they did show a little bit of interventional radiology slash interventional cardiology, but beggars can't be choosers. At least they showed our specialty on TV, so I can't be mad at it. Thanks to whoever told me about this episode. I appreciate it. If you have any more episodes or other medical dramas you want me to react to, let me know in the comments below. If you want me to do this again, let me know in the comments below. If you never want me to do this again, also let me know. On that note, make sure you smash the like, subscribe button, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Turn on post notifications so you are notified when I post a new video, which is usually about once or twice every single week. Well, it's usually twice every week, Wednesday and Sundays. Otherwise, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace.